so what if I want to design my own functions? You know, I've been using other people's functions. I've been using the math library, the random library. Uh, what if I want to build my own kind of functionality? Uh, and what I can do is I can actually do that, obviously. And to do that, what I do is I come in and I utilize something called the def command. Now the def basically is saying define this function and I give it whatever that function's name is going to be. So in this case, plus one. That's the name of my function. And then I give it whatever parameters I'm expecting this to take. Now in this case, uh, plus one is expecting one parameter. Over here in say hello, it's also expecting one parameter. In this case, name. So now what we can do with this is we can do two different things. One over here on say hello, I can just do a print statement. Now you notice over here there's no you know what happens after print, you know, what happens when I'm done. Well, in this case nothing happens. I just call say hello and I'm done with it. But what if I want to save sort of the value I'm calculating out? Obviously, that's what we're doing when we do say the math class. Uh, or the math library. When I call math.sqrt I get a number back. I want to be able to use that number. The same kind of concept comes in here. And to do that, I use something called return. Now what return will do is it'll come in and it will spit out that same number for me. So let's kind of see that in action. I say, for example, I want to design my own sort of method or function. I'll call it def my function. And I'm going to give it one variable, I'm going to call it, I'm not even going to call it x, I'm going to call it variable. Why not? Once I've done this, I give it a colon. This is basically my way of just like with an if statement, I come in and I'm saying that all the code inside of these, this tab area is going to all of a sudden be a part of the my function function. So what am I going to do with that? Well, I'm going to say that variable is going to equal uh, variable raised to the second power, okay, and then variable is going to equal variable uh, times negative one, and then I'm going to go variable equals math dot, I don't know, sqrt variable. Now I do have to kind of come in because I'm using the math library all of a sudden, and I have to import math. So all of a sudden I've created these different things. Now I'm not 100% done just yet, and the square root of a negative number, just to make it easy on myself, I'm going to just put it as a 3, I don't know. But right now, variables just sitting, floating in space with my function. If I were to come in afterwards and try and print this, uh, my function with, I don't know, uh, 10. Well, mathematically, I can kind of see what I would be doing here. Uh, I'd be saying 10 raised to the second power, 100. 100 times 3, 300. What's the square root of 300? Well, off the top of my head, uh, not even going to try and guess. Uh, but all of a sudden, you know, that's not what we're going to see when I save this. Let me save this. Just call it function demo dot pi and so when I run this I get none I get none well, the reason why is because variable variable never leaves my function so that's where this return comes into play by me saying return before my function kinda finishes packs up goes out of memory and all that nonsense go ahead and save it for a second Kind of move it, you know, put it out, uh, in our case, to this print statement. So now all of a sudden, when I run this, instead of seeing none, I should see 17.32. So now all of a sudden I can have sort of that ability. Again, I'm able to still have methods, functions, define my function to name that don't have any form of a uh, return statement. I can do something like a print statement. Print 
hello name. There's nothing wrong with that, but I just don't have any, I can't come in and say, for example, you know, phrase equal my function to Adam, and then print phrase. I don't get this ability right here. What I should see is, hello, Adam. Instead, what I, I'm going to see is my 17, 32, because that's what I got with my function. And then we see, hello, Adam, because that's being called inside of my, my function, too. But then when I go to actually print phrase, I get a none. Now, is it the end of the world? No. You just would not do this, whereas this is perfectly valid right here. Now we're getting somewhere. One other thing that we can also do is we can also add in more variables. So I can come in and say def uh, my function 3. And instead of just having uh, one variable, I can come in, separate these by commas, and go variable 2, variable 3, as many as I want. I'll go 4. And all I'm going to have this do is return all of them added together. So return var1 plus var2 plus var3. Get my spacing right. 3 plus var4. Boom. Same kind of song and dance can come in. Echo. And I can put in here one, two, four. That's what I wrote. Five. I run this. I should see 17.32. Again, because this is still getting printed. I should see hello, Adam, because my function two is printing inside of it. And then I should see uh, one plus two plus four plus five, which is 12 because of my function three. And Takes one positional argument before we're given. What? Ah! Always check your code. I put my function. My function is only expecting one variable. So, it's yelling at me. It's saying, oh, you gave me four when you should have only gave me one. That's because I should have been working on function three. There we go. Now when I run it, I should see 17, hello, Adam, 12. 